Hope you like the intro. The first chapter we encounter is chapter 5.1. Based on this diagram, a mid segment is a segment that connects a midpoint of two sides of a triangle. There's usually three of them. They're here. This diagram is based on a theorem. Theorem 5.1. Theorem 5.1 says the segment connecting the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half as long as that side. For example, based on this example, DE is half of AC. Now we are on chapter 5.2. This chapter focuses on perpendicular bisector. What is a perpendicular bisector? Well, a perpendicular bisector is a segment, wave, line, or plane that is perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. Well, based on this example, CP is a perpendicular bisector of AP. Moving on. We are using this example for DM5.2. DM5.2. In a plane, if a plane is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is an equal distance from the endpoint of the segment. Based on this example, since CP is a perpendicular bisector of AB, then CA is equal to CB. Moving on. We're using this example for the converse of perpendicular bisector theorem. We know converse in chapter 2, which means it switches the theorem of the perpendicular. Based on this, it's switching the per perpendicular bisector down. So it would be if dA is equal to dB, then d lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB. Next is the concurrency of perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Based on this example, blues are the perpendicular bisector. In the center, P is the second. What they call it for the perpendicular bisector, they call it a second center. Now we're on chapter 5.3. In this chapter, we use angle bisectors. Based on this example, we used theorem 5.5, angle bisector theorem. The angle bisector theorem is if a point is on a bisector of an angle, then it's equal distance from two sides of the angle. Based on this example, if line AD bisects angle BAC and DB perpendicular to AB and DC is perpendicular to AC then DB equals DC B. DB is equal to DC now we move on to the converse of angle bisector theorem we use the same example for this one so if db is perpendicular to ab and dc is perpendicular to ac and db equals dc then ad bisects angle bac now we're going to go on to the concurrency of angle bisectors the blues are the angle bisectors in the middle which is p is the in center. 